dark clouds, high winds, a possible tornado reported outside Portland tonight. The National Weather Service working to confirm that as viewers in the Damascus area sending us videos just like this one. Thanks so much for staying up with us. I'm Brittany Falkers, joined by KGW meteorologist Joe Ranieri. And Joe, it's not just the funnel cloud that people are seeing. We're also hearing reports of some storm damage. Exactly right. Now, these were quick moving storms that we saw earlier tonight. Now, here's a look what the radar looked like right around 6, 630 this evening. I spoke with one man who recently moved to a new home in Damascus, who spent the evening cleaning up his property, including several cars that were damaged when a 120 foot tree came crashing down. This is what's left from the storm that swept through Tanner Benson's property in Damascus. And we heard a crack and we heard some wind and rain. So we were like, oh, cool. It's like some lightning and thunder, you know. Luckily, he was inside his home with his friends when he heard all of the cracking and snapping of trees. We look outside and we go on my deck and we look up and there's just this huge tornado like coming down. And so we're like, oh, God, get in the house, get in the house. Just a few minutes later, he walked outside and saw all of this. Cars he just bought in hopes of fixing up and reselling were smashed by trees. Just bought like three nice cars yesterday, last night. And those are the three cars that the tree smashed on. So now I'm just I'm kind of devastated. Benson says he has never heard the screaming of wind like he heard on Saturday night. The wind was just insane. It was just powerful, like pure power. Reports of a funnel cloud were also reported in Boring and Happy Valley. Take a look at this video that shows how wide the storm was. As Benson looks around his property now, he's just glad his home that he was renovating wasn't damaged or was his prized possession, his 1972 Chevy Nova that was sitting across those cars he just bought. The National Weather Service will send a team to check out the damage tomorrow to see if it was a possible tornado that touched down earlier tonight. Brittany? We will be waiting for that answer. All right, thanks so much, Joe.